Yeah, we just got an update from the fire department, which tells us that the business that operated here did have some permits, but did not have the proper permits to be doing the type of work they were doing. And sadly, you'll notice that the coroner's van is here. That's because this morning, firefighters found the remains of a person inside the building. Yesterday, they had believed everyone had gotten out, but then firefighters started counting the cars that were outside the building and realized one person was unaccounted for. Take a look. Just after noon yesterday, witnesses heard an explosion, then saw a fireball. They say the blast was so powerful, many thought it was an earthquake. They also saw five people run out of the building. Three were badly burned, and one, a 28-year-old man, has since died of his burns at the hospital. And again, another person was found this morning by firefighters. Those remains were in the building. Investigators are still trying to determine the cause of the blast and the fire, but a task force that includes the DA's office and even the feds are also or is also joining the search for answers. And depending on what they find, this could turn into a criminal investigation. Inside was hemp, and it was doing a hemp extraction process. So that's similar to what many people will also uh, see done with a butane honey oil with cannabis, a similar type of an extraction process. The business was legal. However, the operation inside appears to be illegal and did not go through the permitting and safety process. Again, the coroner's office is now at the scene and is trying to identify the body and give answers to a no doubt very worried family. Now back out here live, the fire department says there's still a huge pile of smoldering hemp inside. And once the coroner is done here, they plan to bring in heavy machinery to remove that hemp and hopefully finally put out what's left of this fire. Live in Canoga Park, I'm Christy Fajardo. Let's send it back to you. All right.